most challenging? Um, being nice to myself. <laughs> I tend to be so hard on myself and I, I hold myself to very high standards and I've done that my whole life that it's become quite uh, a normal thing for me to do now so I don't even recognize it but every time I talk in therapy my therapist is always like dude you need to like chill out <laughs> because you're just critiquing yourself over and over whenever I hear the the, the 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 inner critic I always tell myself like that's not who I am anymore or that's just my inner critic talking and like oh look what she's saying today but I never have to really act upon it or respond to it um, and I kind of just acknowledge it as something that's separate from me and just a thought passing through that, rather than my identity um, um, and that tends to help a lot because then I'm like, there's no need to freak out or like amplify the issue. Um, so yeah, I tend to just separate myself from any of those uncomfortable negative thoughts and observe them more, more so than act upon them. Because I've been in therapy for like over two years now and I've made a lot of progress and I've seen myself grow into like this higher version of myself that I'd always wanted to be. And so I think I get frustrated with myself sometimes when I feel myself regressing, even though you're not regressing, you just, it's, it's hard to get rid of old habits, especially thinking patterns. And so I tend to, I, I try to be aware of that. And the fact that like, listen, at the end of the day, I'm only 18 and I've only been in therapy for two years, you know? And so even though I'm very much like, productivity and efficiency oriented and I want progress fat not fast but I expect myself to progress quickly because I have such high standards for myself it's very tough to like understand that self-growth and positive changes in your in your thinking patterns are a very gradual process that literally takes a lifetime <laughs>